Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is gonna be the second annual launcher contest. The first one was really cool and, the, and you know that video got a lot of um, views. And so this year we're bringing the launcher back again. So if you wanna see this competition, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so teachers, as you guys are going through your robotics year, um, I like to incorporate projects, competitions, and, you know, first Lego League um, tasks like that. But this is a cool class competition. And the neat thing about it is not everybody has to do this at once. I've had teams that did their launch a couple of weeks ago, and then, you know, teams that are catching up can do their launching, you know, today, and you can still get scores and still look on the leaderboard and go, hey, you know, we're doing really well. So let me go ahead and go through the rules with you, and then I'll show you some of the video that I took um, in our class. Okay, let me go over the ground rules with you, and, you know, you can choose to modify what you want, you know, whichever best fits you or your class. So this is how simple the launcher can look. So I tell my students, you know, don't overcomplicate it. The best launchers are the simplest, simplest ones. So the basic objective of the launcher is to launch a projectile. The rule on the projectile is it must fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And yes, you can turn it diagonally to, you know, get more uh, length to it. It needs to go over either a shoe box or tissue just so that, you know, there has to be some type of upward mo uh, motion or movement for the launcher. Um, this is a regular, I think, six foot table. So their launcher has to actually be on the other table and then go the, the distance of the six feet. And let me go ahead and show you how I set up the cups. So I have six cups. I have a four, one, three, two, two, and a D for double. If you um, knock over, let's say that, you know, you knock over these two cups plus the double, that would be four. And then the D means we'll double it to eight. My students always ask, what if we just hit over the double? And I say, well, let's just do the math. Two times zero is still zero. So, you know, you get nothing if you just knock over the double cup. So this is my setup. And then when I go ahead and show you the high scores from my class, these are the points we use. So if you want to try to beat our class's high score, then you would set your cups up like this. And then each team gets three official launches. So they can practice as much as they want, but they're only going to get three official launches. So um, it's going to look something like this. Let me just demonstrate this real quick. I'm going to try to make sure I can... So if that was my official launch, then I would have gotten eight points for that launch. And you can see how this robot totally flipped over. I tell my students, you can hold your robot, you know, as it's launching. So a lot of the momentum, you know, you can not have uh, the momentum lost by it flipping over like this. And then you just, each team gets three chances or three official launches to get the highest score they can. So let's go to the classroom video.
Okay guys, so hopefully you like the launcher activity competition. It's really fun. The kids get really into it. Like, you know, we talk a lot about physics. We talk about friction. We talk about momentum. We talk about mass. And so it's a really great way to get them engaged in talking about, you know, different physics elements. So it's just a neat project. It's competitive. They want to be like, yeah, we want to get the highest score. So at the moment, February 11th, our high score is 42 points. It's an amazing score. And now the challenge goes to you guys. Can you guys match 42? Um, it's a really tough score. Um, good luck to you guys, okay? All right, hopefully you like the launching activity or project. I'm Mr. Hino from Mission Zega Robotics. I'm out.